Hello everyone. In this session, I'll be teaching you what exactly data type is and what are the different types of data types are there, how they are denoted, what is the size in this session. Simply, I'll just make it as data types. Okay, I'll just give you the broad classification followed by how they are denoted. All right. Now coming to the data types, we have basically fundamental. There are fundamental data types or you can call it as basic data types, basic. Okay. All these are uh, very much helpful when you attend an interview. It becomes easy for you to crack because they might ask you what is the other name of fundamental data types? Nothing but a basic data type. Now here if you look at basic data type, uh, firstly void is one, void void is one. Okay, this represents this represents that there is uh, no data in it. Okay, this represents there is no data. All right. Similarly, the second one is char, C H A R, nothing but character. All right, which will take one byte. Okay, nothing but a size, which will take one byte size. Similarly, you have int I N T integer, which will take two bytes size. Okay, all these we should remember which is very much important to crack uh, interview okay which will help you to give a clarity upon what exactly data types are similarly you have one more which is called float float okay which is of four bytes okay this is also integer type only there is a small slight difference between those two i'll just i'll explain you and uh, the next one is double double which is of 8 bytes okay now this int, int float or double all these are integers only but the meaning here is if you take an integer it will take a what you call a number like it could be a 2 it could be 24 54 a bounded number it will take all right if you consider a float you can consider decimals also 24.32 something okay similarly double will help you to take a big number or a large number you can say which have a capability to hold a big number all right this is all about a simple basic or fundamental data types void char int float and double i hope you understood and uh, try to remember these sizes this is also important here character is nothing but you can write some text okay this particular void does not have any size because it does not return any data all right and secondly this let me consider this as one data type number two let me change the color to understand better number two i'll name it as derived data types derived data type all right now these are like you can say pointer pointers or pointer and array okay when i when you if you follow the all the series of video lectures in this particular playlist you could see what exactly pointer is all about and what is an array each and every lecture individually i am going to present okay then a function function this is uh, all about derived data type how the functions are uh, taken function is nothing but carrying a value from an existing value all right similarly let me take for the third one third one i'll consider it as user defined data types the other one is user defined data types okay what are these user defined data types okay now these uh, user defined data type will take help of a keyword 
you need to remember this it will take help of a keyword that keyword is a uh, structure a structure and uh, maybe a union and uh, enumeration okay these are the things which are we should remember and the enumeration the uh, it can also be denoted something like e num all right this is how uh, these are data types are broadly classified as three types fundamental or basic derived and user defined data types okay these are the things that one should remember before writing any c code all right then only you can incorporate these data types in this in your uh, program whatever the program you write all right let me give some more clarity upon let me increase the size and write it down here now what are type modifiers let me see let me write it down here type modifiers okay these are also very much important to understand here type modifiers firstly let me consider signed signed type modifier and unsigned let me increase the thickness so that you can see better okay signed and unsigned what is a signed modifier what is an unsigned modifier uh, signed modifier is something how will represent let me show you int let us say int signed int sign means it can be represented x is equal to 20 this is a terminator what you call this is how i denote okay x is equal to 20 it will vary maybe minus negative time to positive sign something like this okay unsigned will be represented something like this int x 20 okay where you have only positive values okay you have only positive values this is called unsigned this the only i'm showing you the representation of a modifier when it is assigned how we represent when it is unsigned how we represent that is what i'm trying to show you all right in the same way one of the one of the another modifier is let me increase the size yeah it is short Okay, when I write the actual program, you'll understand better. Short and long. What is short? What is long? All these things we are going to discuss. Okay, if I'll say for example, uh, long int. Long int. This also represents the size. Okay, R long int. Uh, for example, long int k. I'll take one variable. I just terminate it. What is termination? All this stuff you'll understand better when I write a uh, program it is of four bytes okay if i'll say long double and uh, let me take one variable as l or whatever p or q then this square brackets represent the size of that particular uh, information whatever we are going to give bytes okay it will take 10 bytes all right the square bracket represents that particular uh, the represent the size of that particular variable whatever you are going to give in the terminal all right now this is all about different types of uh, data types and how they are denoted what is the size of the data type this is very much helpful to write a code and to crack an interview all these whatever i have explained you uh, it is all about interview questions Okay, interview questions which will help you out 
go through and remember all of them if you find any query you can drop it in the comment box below thank you for now